artisan keycaps. One of the rabbit holes within the rabbit hole of mechanical keyboards. This is one that I've yet to fall into and honestly scares me quite a bit because artisans can get really expensive. There are some pretty high profile ones that I see all the time, including the Kipora, Shishi, Sirius, and Megalodon. These are stunning pieces, works of art, and quite a bit outside of my price range. I may come to regret this, but in this video, I'll be dipping my toes into this world of artisans by checking out some cheaper options. Most of these are from local makers from here in the Philippines. There are a lot of artisan makers here in the country covering a wide range of price points. I would encourage you to explore the options near you, not only to save on shipping but also to support local artists and entrepreneurs. Pertinent links to everything can be found in the description. The first two artisans we'll be looking at were graciously sent to me by the folks over at Mech DIY. Head on over to the description for affiliate links if you'd like to purchase one of these or any of the other mechanical keyboard related items they offer. This one is a beautiful snowy mountain encased in resin. It's a Row 1 SA Profile keycap and I think it looks stunning. I love pairing it with this combination of Geek Arc White on Black, Black on White, and the Azure Accents. You can get it on Mech DIY for $24. US This next one is inspired by the original Apple Macintosh. It's a set of two keys, a 1U monitor and a 1.5U desk. Pretty sure that's a desk since that little thing on the right seems to be a mouse. I think these are meant to go on tab and the key above, whether that's escape or tilde. These come with quite a few features. First, there's this separate little keyboard that's actually magnetic so you won't lose it. It can stick to the 1.5U desk or the top of the 1U monitor, for some reason. Second, the image on the monitor can be swapped out. The set comes with a few of these, and all you have to do is pop the front off in order to place a new image. The last feature is Shine Through. The 1U monitor will display your RGB through its screen but only with a north-facing LED. This is a very fun, cute set and you can get your own for 20 US dollars at Mech DIY. Next, we're looking at some very inexpensive but very cute soot sprite artisans, which I discovered from a friend's setup. If you're not familiar, these little guys appear in the Studio Ghibli films My Neighbor Totoro and Spirited Away. I believe they're called Susuwatari in Japanese and are the inspiration for the MT3 set of the same name. These are transparent 1U Row 1 OEM profile keycaps. I'm not usually a fan of artisans where it's just something glued on top of a keycap, but I quite like this because it looks like the soot sprites are bursting out from inside the keycaps. And I do love me some Studio Ghibli. You can get these from Anaberu keycaps for just 2 US dollars each. You may recognize these next ones from the work of Blue Bomber Fox, henceforth BBF. But these are actually from a local shop, Alarcia's Computer Accessories, and are quite a bit less expensive than the BBF ones. When I first thought about making this video, these Game Boy cartridge keycaps from BBF were the ones I really wanted. Unfortunately, they're quite a bit too expensive especially with the shipping so I settled for these local ones. Now, I'm not sure if these were inspired by the BBF ones. This may be a cloning situation. It's also possible that they both just thought of the same idea. I don't know. I can't really do a fair comparison of the two since I don't own any of the BBF ones. But just based on images, you can tell that you do get what you pay for, with a full set of the BBF costing 90 US dollars and the local ones costing under 17. The print on the stickers is clearer on the BBF. The materials are nicer, the colors are opaque and look just like the original cartridges. You don't get the Game Boy text or any of this weird black color along the top, which I think is a good aesthetic choice. These local ones are very nice though for the price. You can get them for about 4 US dollars each from Alarcia's computer accessories. Lastly, we have a beautiful resin keycap featuring the Tumindig character by local artist Tarantadong Kalbo. If you're from the Philippines, then you're probably familiar with this little guy, as well as the significance of the pink color of the keycap. If not, don't worry about it, it's politics. This is a Row 1 OEM profile keycap. It's clear on top and opaque on the bottom like a reverse pudding keycap. You can get one for just one US dollar and 60 cents from Hooked by F. And there we go, my first foray into this expensive but aesthetically pleasing world of artisan keycaps. What do you think of the artisans I featured here? Are there others you would recommend? Do you have an artisan collection? Tell us about it in the comments. 
And if you found this video helpful, informative, entertaining, or any other positive adjective, please consider giving it a like and subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching.